Hi there. I decided to make this lesson on exponents because many students get confused about when to add exponents and when to multiply exponents. I'll show how you can use simple examples to guide yourself. First, here's a list of all the laws of exponents that we need. I'll let you take a look at them for a moment. I'll do examples of these middle four. What is a to the m times a to the n? Do we add or multiply the m and the n? Let's find out. Let's use lucky sevens. 7 cubed times 7 to the fifth. 7 cubed means 7 times 7 times 7. 7 to the fifth means 7 times itself 5 times. All these are multiplied together. We don't need the parentheses. So how many sevens do we have? Count them. 8. So it turns out 7 to the 3rd times 7 to the 5th is 7 to the 3 plus 5, which is 7 to the 8th. So when you have a to the m times a to the n, you add the exponents. Next, let's try division. a to the m divided by a to the n. What is that? Here comes our lucky sevens again. 7 to the fifth divided by 7 cubed. 7 to the fifth is 7 times itself 5 times. 7 cubed is 7 times itself 3 times. And look at how the sevens just cancel out. And we have 7 times 7 left, which is 7 squared. So you could see that the 2 comes from 5 minus 3. Next, let's look at a to the m raised to the nth power. We'll use 7 cubed, the whole thing squared, as our example. 7 cubed squared means 7 cubed times 7 cubed. And now each 7 cubed is 7 times 7 times 7. Remove the parentheses and we see 7 to the 6th power. So when we have a power raised to a power, we multiply. How about a to the m times b to the m? We'll use 2 to the 5th and 3 to the 5th as our example. Look at the factors. We can group them any way we want. So let's group them as 2 times 3 factors. See 5 of them? So a to the m times b to the m can be written as a times b or to the m. Here's the list of rules again. These rules are so important that applying them should be as automatic as adding 1 plus 1. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Okay, I'm going to let you try to solve this problem yourself. There are many ways to solve this problem, so think of a strategy before you proceed. It's not as difficult as it looks. The answer is in the next panel. Good luck. Hope you had fun. Bye.